turn this one over to Joe here for a second, Bell. Uh, I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, because Joe's got some ICF uh, concerns that he may or may not have. We talked about this, Joe. Don't hold back. Give me your opinion. Everybody out here <laughs> wants to hear what's going on. You are a pot stirrer. All right, you're a shit kicker. You're all of those things. Let's go ahead and get I'm into toxic. it, Joe. You are toxic as all holy hell. So go ahead and get into it, Joe. What are your concerns right now? Uh, my my cons- main concern is, besides all the other concerns I laid out about foundations earlier, where they just don't get it done, and even if they do, there's no reasonable way that whatever they, whatever they build, develop, deliver on is going to make its way into the token that they shill to unsuspecting retail. <laughs> but the 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 misdirection and the rebrands is concerning. But after last week's liquidity event, are we allowed to say that? Is that yes. the politically correct way of saying that all this is bullshit? Yes. The liquidity event that was it was manipulation if you were long. <laughs> um <laughs> Adam is threatening to, 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 first of all, Adam went to zero. Okay. There's no liquidity for Adam, even on Binance, the biggest exchange. Um, the wick went to zero. It bounced back up to $3, which was somehow spun as a victory on Twitter, <laughs> even though that's down 30% from what it was the week before. Now it's threatening to go below $3. It's the, the liquidity and the, the token price is a disaster. And that's the case in all of proof of stake because you can't have a liquid token if two thirds of it is staked or locked up into some crap. So there's that. Um, during all these rebrands and you know, Interchain Labs is coming in. We got the Skip team. They made something good, so now they're they're BD and all that. They were re- re- relentlessly trying to improve morale which I could appreciate. I make content. I like to have good morale about the things that I cover. And they, t- they said, we're, we're, we're putting together a team. We're going to have this group chat. And the conditions of the group chat is you're privy to information before everyone else. And your job is to scrutinize it, give us feedback, but you can't share that information outside the group. I have a couple DMS with interchain labs and they say, yeah, You'd be great in the group. We we need that no BS New York energy. Okay. I'm blocked now. <laughs> and I didn't even and I, I didn't even talk in the chat. So so I was in there and it was just a bunch of random people. There was nothing official shared in the chat. There's there was nothing to report. Um individuals sharing their own ideas. One guy released like a 40 page paper that when I when it was run through AI, so it was a 99% chance this was made with AI. So there's nothing <laughs> substantial going on there. I wasn't there for a long time. <laughs> I get a DM from Interchain Labs. Hey, man, your, your content is really toxic lately, and I'm over it, so I blocked you. Okay. And, I, and my response was, all my content is negative. <laughs> I, I'm skeptical, honest, and worried legitimately about everything in crypto precisely because of all the things going on with foundations, those that issue tokens, it, the promises, the lack of delivery, and most importantly, no one talks about the intricacies of running an actual business. It's just all, everything's free. Everything is paid for in the token. There's no revenue. There's also no expenses that are disclosed either. So, so that's where I'm at with the ICF. I don't like their funding habits. Um, I pulled up just now while we're in commercial. Let me read this to you, yep. and then I'll tell you how I interpret it okay. as an advocate for the end user, retail trader, speculator. The Interchain Foundation allocated a $26.4 million budget for its 2024 funding program. Wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. It's a big fuck you. I'm going to I'm going to stop you right there. It's a big foundation. They got over 300 million dollars in reserves, not only in Adam, but in lots of tokens of cash. Ugh. OK, but this is what it says. Supports the development and adoption of the interchange stack. 
So they're, from their position, Cosmos, the blockchain doesn't really exist. Cosmos, the tech stack is what they're, what they're interested in. Development, salaries. Just say salaries, right? <laughs> and then adoption. Why are you paying people to adopt your tech if it's so good? That sounds like subsidies, right? Like, like <laughs> what are we, what are we doing here? And I'll, I'll go back to my original. You, you could kill me after this. Proof of stake, delegated proof of stake, as it is in practice, is no different. They've done a speed run, actually, of these European socialist socialist democracies where you have a bunch of self-appointed leaders who you, you can never get rid of them. They take half of everyone's money in crypto. They take all everyone's money <laughs> and they just think and they just think that because they're good at one thing, they're good at everything and they know how to spend all that money better than you. And that's what we're at with, with, with proof of stake, delegated proof of stake. So wow. That, that's that. That's that's a little harsh. No, I mean, I, I fully agree with you. I would go much harsher. Uh, literally, the, the, the foundations <laughs> are basically the Senate. No, I, and, and, I, and I, the. <laughs> and I get it, man. Look, uh, I, I love that you went political with it. You know, I'm a political kind of guy, so I love that you went political with it. Uh, I don't like it is what I'm saying. No, and didn't they that was, didn't they name that chat something like the coffee house chat or something? No, that's Joe's no, no. Chat. It was a it was a private chat um, invite only. You had to agree to the terms. I agree. I want to see what's going on. Like there there might be a time where I buy back into some of these tokens that i've cut my losses on or you know got out by the skin of my teeth on there was nothing shared there in the two weeks or so that i was in there but then i was banned i i, no, I was i was blocked on twitter i should i was not banned i left that chat because it was just nothing happening see and i i never i never got an invite and i am officially the voice of the cosmos you know why because everybody else ran everybody else beat feet they took their uh, ball and they went home and you all fucking left. That means that I am uh, the de facto voice of the cosmos and you guys are fucking up everything that you possibly can. There is not a single thing that you can put your finger on that has worked. It's not even been close. You are literally in bed your foundations are in bed with your validators to make sure that your validators stay up there in top 10 that vote your shit ah. the way that you want them to vote your shit. And I mean, oh. look, you want to see a perfect example near protocol. You just reminded me of the near other thing. protocol. Should, do I even need to mention this? Not yet. Not yet. I forgot. Oh, one thing. for fuck's sake. Go ahead. It's your show. It's not like I have any purpose here. Go ahead, Joe. You know what else really grinds my gears about? <laughs> what about the, what I, grinds your gears, dude? <laughs> the, the the foundation delegation program should be abolished. There is no way to achieve economic alignment or community alignment <laughs> with a program in place. I get why they do it. Every proof of stake network that I've seen does the same thing where they have, they sit on a treasury of tokens that nobody paid for and they stake it and they farm the inflation. I, I think it's a huge conflict of interest. It, jeopardizes governance it it, it it you're diluting your own investors if you want to call them investors i don't think they should have and, it and, and pro nope yeah. I, I got you but let me tell you why you're wrong and see if you agree with this you are looking at this from a premise of a rational reasonable business focused person that wants to make something great now if you were going to look at this as a person who is simply trying to extract value, would you create any system different than the one that we have right this very second? No, it's really good for the for the people on top. It it's actually flawless. Yep, you're right. You see, again, dude, you gotta you gotta step. There's no way to improve it. <laughs> you gotta step out at of all this Joe bubble <laughs> and assume the worst. That's what that that's always been the issue. You don't assume the worst and I do. And that's always kind of because if I was going to de de design a system 
that is simply about max extraction with zero skin in the game, I would build the ICF. That is exactly what I would build. And so you're saying doing it when, to when you play when you play Monopoly with the rest of the Sigia Foundation guys and gals, <laughs> yeah, you're the banker. You're not rolling the dice. You're the banker. Yes, is that what you're telling but me? I have to pretend that it's only my money that's involved in this. Therefore, I have to make very smart and educated decisions. I have to answer to Bella for every single decision that I make. And if you think she could be a bitch on here, you should see it when the cameras aren't on. Because I have to deal with her every single day because she is, in fact, the chief executive officer of Sigma Cloud Lab. Let me just say this because there's a chat here. They might okay. get the wrong idea. Okay. <laughs> I have seen Bella with the cameras off. And for what it's worth, she's lovely. Oh, so okay. chat you suck it. So oh, my gosh. She doesn't even have a penis <laughs> that you can go down on. But it seems like you're trying to, dude. That's a No. Hey, good for you, man. It's got to be a New York thing. I've met you. We've hugged. Huh? We've docked. We multiple times and then you went to sleep shortly after it was uh, those gummies man somebody gave you guys had to be there right it was at nft nashville what about two years ago and there were some cool guys it hasn't there. even been a year <laughs> it hasn't even been a year no there were some cool guys I mean, Joe there, remembers. and they had a little baggie and they said hey you should try one of these and i did and uh i was and like meanwhile i'm sitting there going no <laughs> oh guys if you've never if you've here. never had a 200 milligram gummy in a red oh state God, you ain't living man. no Jesus. i tell you what i went for 30 minutes i felt fine i was like oh these guys are full of shit and then that fucking thing had a delayed fuse like you wouldn't believe man because the next moment i'm grabbing bell by the elbow and i never ever do that but i grabbed her by the elbow and i'm pointing i was like bell look at the moon did you Look at the moon. My mind was gone. I had to get our bodyguards to drive me home because I was like, I am gone, man. I there's no way I'm driving this vehicle tonight. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was Belle, a little bit grumpy. We're a little bit.